Hey, welcome. I'm the Christmas search engine, and I can help you find anything related to DIY Christmas decorations. Oh, okay. Um, let's jump right in. Here we go. <laughs> what date Christmas this year? Uh, December 25th. What date Christmas next year? December 25th. Song that goes. Um, I think I know what you're looking for. How cook ham? Okay. How cook ham fast? Uh... Oh, ham flamethrower recipe. Wait, what? Christmas present mom. Nice. Cheap. Nice. What day Christmas 2035? Are you serious? Is Santa Claus real? Uh, you should maybe ask your parents about that. Gift wrap bowling ball. Please be careful. Custom dog Christmas. Sorry, what? Christmas dog custom cute. Oh, you mean costume? Christmas dog costume cute! Gift wrap accordion. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. <laughs> Can I drink expired eggnog? No. What happens if drink expired eggnog? Why'd you even ask me in the first place? Dealing with relatives. Okay. Dealing with nosy relatives. Oh, uh, well. Dealing with my nosy, overbearing relatives who won't stay out of my business. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty much all the same stuff. <laughs> Gift wrap a saddle. Who are you buying this stuff for? Santa Claus riding a unicorn. Santa Claus riding a unicorn socks. Is that a thing? Search it up. Oh wow, here they are. Take my money. Norwegian tree skirts. How many lights, one outlet? Elf pajamas. Dog singing Christmas carols. <sighs> oh, hello. What is Christmas really about? <laughs> I've got just the thing. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So, Jesus? Jesus. May I? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Huh. How fix burnt ham? Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Pizza delivery Christmas Eve. <laughs> no problem.
Well, we welcome you this evening. It's so good to be here. And uh, just to celebrate Christmas Eve with you all today, I hope that you are uh, able to bring your families. And we definitely want to make sure that you are able to grab a candle on your way in. If you forgot, it's totally okay. Maybe slip out during this next song or something like that. And uh, make sure everybody in your family has a candle. We'll be doing a, a lighting here in a little bit. But... next part, I want to do something a little bit non-traditional. Um, I want to read a section of scripture from Luke chapter 1, starting in verse 46. And this is a section that was actually written by Mary, the mother of Jesus. You may or may not know this, um, but before Jesus was born, as Mary was visiting with Elizabeth, um, and they were kind of talking about what was to come, and Mary had believed in what the Lord had appeared and, and what the angel had said to her, that she was going to bear a son. She believed in this. And um, she had this kind of outburst, this amazing poem and song uh, that I think we overlook a lot. I think it's, it's really special and goes really well with what we're celebrating today. And so Mary responded in verse 46 of Luke 1. She said, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. 
He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. And I just think that's so special here at Christmas time um, because we're celebrating an event that happened, you know, 2,000 years ago, something that, like I said last week, we can't physically come and behold and see the baby Jesus that's born, but we can celebrate that God was willing to meet us where we're at, to send his son to meet us right here. Um, other, in another place in scripture, it calls Jesus Emmanuel, which means God with us. And that's what we're going to sing and celebrate in this next song, that this Christmas time, we remember that Christ came down to be with us, to be in our midst. So let's sing that. Who are we that you would be mindful of us? What do you see that's worth looking our way? We are free in ways that we never should be. Sweet relief from the grip of these chains. Like can't you strain it from the way?
time with loved ones and to open long-awaited presents. Christmas is a time to remember. To remember that salvation doesn't come from within. It comes from above. To remember that infinitely better than the magic of Christmas is the miracle of Emmanuel. To remember that God was not and is not untouched by the pain and suffering of this world. To remember that Jesus isn't just part of the Christmas story, but Christmas is part of the Jesus story. To remember that there is no grace without a cross and no cross without a manger. To remember that Jesus doesn't just want us to remember what he did, but to join him in what he is doing. So this year, let the lights remind you of the light of the world who came into darkness for us. Let the gifts remind you of the greatest gift of all. And this year, make your heart like Bethlehem and receive the King. We're gonna keep singing in just a minute, but something that I love about that video um, is what it says that Christmas isn't just part of the Jesus story. Jesus isn't just part of the Christmas story. There we go. That Christmas is really just a part of the whole Jesus story. You know, Christmas is really um, just a beginning of the story of Jesus, of the story of Christ. And we're going to continue um, looking in the book of Matthew after this week um, on Sunday mornings through the life of Jesus Christ and what he did. And I think it's important at Christmas not just to remember the birth of Jesus, uh, but to connect that to Calvary, like we sang about in the last song, to connect it to um, the fact that this baby grew up and he did something amazing, you know, that he died on the cross for us to forgive our sins. So I want us to really remember that um, as we focus in on his birth. We're going to sing about that, about how the light of the world came into darkness. And um, that's really what made him the light of the world, is that he died on that cross.
Would you all pray with me? God, we thank you that you would be willing um, to send your son in this, this crazy, hard to understand story uh, that we find ourselves in tonight, Lord. Uh, thank you for revealing this story to us through your word and, and through the testimony of so many, Lord. Uh, thank you that, that your son came down, that he was born, and um, that he was willing to go to the cross and take the pain. God is fully human and that he didn't stay in that grave. Lord, thank you that he rose again and that we have something to celebrate, God, that we don't have some, some type of empty faith, Lord. I pray for our faith this Christmas. God, help us to be bold in sharing that with those around us. And um, we just thank you for that night that started this all. It's in your name that I pray. Amen. We're going to transition now um, into the time of candle lighting and a little bit of, of hymn singing together. So if a couple people would like to go over there, we have the candles set up in the corner. And uh, just get us started. Maybe a couple of moms and dads and fam from families. Maybe don't send the kids over there. <laughs> But if just a few people would go and then just share the flame around you and uh, we'll spread it around to the whole to the whole group and then we'll sing together. sing together.
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see the thing that's happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it, wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart, and the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. And at the end of the eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. you all stand as we sing this song?
Y'all can take this time to blow out your candles in a very safe manner, please. <laughs> but we thank you once more. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, what a blessing it is to be able to do this. And I hope you have some, some quality, great time with your family tonight. Um, we want to say a special prayer for those that couldn't be here with us tonight um, who are dealing with either sickness or um, some other things. We have um, some cards out there that are sitting by the couch um, for the Luther Hand family that's very near and dear to our hearts here at Aspen Grove. Um, they've been in the hospital with their baby Francis for a while. So if you would like to write an encouraging Christmas card um, to them, just tell them that you're thinking of them. That would be much, much appreciated. Um, but on your way out, you can deposit your candles and candle holders. And uh, we just thank you once more. Thank you for coming and um, celebrating the joy and, and the peace of Christmas together. We hope that we've been able to impart some of that on you. And just like Mary, just like she said, um, we hope that you have been able to treasure these things in your heart and remember them. So we're going to sing this last song um, as a closing song together before we say goodbye tonight. Oh, day of peace that dimly shines Through all our hopes and prayers and dreams Guide us to justice, truth, and love Delivered from ourselves.
selfish gifts. Let's pray this. May swords of hate fall from our hands. Our hearts from envy find release. Till by God's grace our warring world shall see Christ's promise raised. Shall the wolf dwell with the lamb, nor shall the fierce devour the small, as beasts and cattle call me great, a little child. Just find their true accord. The hope of peace shall be fulfilled. For all the earth shall know the Lord. Amen. Let's give God some praise this, this evening. Thank you once more for being with us. We hope to see you again. Um, but until then, you all are dismissed. Have a Merry Christmas. Yeah.